Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between because of and thanks to. These are two expressions we can use to talk about the cause of a situation or the cause of a state. Um, but let's see maybe some key differences between how to use them. Okay, let's begin with the phrase because of, because of. So when we use because of, we use because of before a noun phrase, where the noun phrase expresses the cause of the situation or the cause of um, an upcoming action, for example. So a few examples of this could be because of you or because of the weather or because of the train delay. In each of these example sentences, I have a noun phrase following the expression because of. So these are introducing the cause of the situation. So the nuance of because of um, is that this noun phrase made something possible or caused something to happen. We use because of when we're explaining a negative situation oftentimes. So something negative has happened. We can use this, as I'll mention here, we can use this to show appreciation, to show a positive outcome or to show um, our gratitude for something. Um, but when we're talking about negative situations, we often use because of to express a negative result, a negative outcome. When we want to show our appreciation, however, using because of, we can say something like, because of you, I was able to pass my test. So yes, we can use this expression to express, neg uh, to express positive situations, um, but we also tend to use this one more to express negative situations. Uh, I'll explain in just a moment um, some other ways to express negative causes. We tend to use because of when there's not a specific person or a specific entity involved in this situation. So for example, I had to cancel my picnic because of rain. So here rain is the cause for the change. Maybe this is a negative situation. I had to cancel my picnic and rain. It's just an entity. It's not really um, a, an organization. It's not a person. It's just something out there that caused a situation to happen. So in these cases, like um, for example, a train delay or the weather or some situation outside your control, you can use because of to express that. So we use because of uh, before a noun phrase to express the cause of a situation or the reason for a state. Um, we can use it to talk about um, positive situations and negative situations. But if you want to express a negative situation, a negative state, it's generally a better idea to use because of than thanks to, as I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so with that in mind, let's look at thanks to, the other point for today. Thanks to, just as we did with because of, we introduce a noun phrase after the expression. So thanks to plus some noun phrase, where the noun phrase is the reason or is um, the cause of the situation or the state. So again, thanks to you, thanks to my teacher, thanks to my parents. Here, you, my teacher, my parents, these are the noun phrases. These introduce the reason or the cause of the state or the situation. So the nuance with thanks to, again, is that this noun phrase has made something possible, yes, um, but there's a nuance of appreciation in most cases. The word thanks here, thank, like to express gratitude, to express appreciation, is the root here. So there's typically a nuance of appreciation, there's gratitude. Um, we can, however, use this sarcastically. So sarcastically means to use to create the opposite meaning. Um, so we can use this expression sarcastically to show anger. If we use thanks to plus a negative situation, for example, thanks to you, we're late for the movie, this is a sarcastic use of the expression thanks to. The speaker is actually unhappy here. The speaker uses the expression thanks to you, which is intending to show appreciation. However, it's followed by this late for the movie, relate for the movie, a negative situation. So this is what's called sarcasm, um, creating the opposite meaning um, of the words that are actually used in the expression. So we can use thanks to to show our anger in a situation. 
we typically use thanks to when there's a person or an entity to show our appreciation to. Uh, so in these cases, I've used you, my teacher, my parents. These are people. You could use an organization, a school, um, maybe a community center, for example. So something, um, some organization, some person, some entity uh, that you can show your appreciation to. We can use thanks to in that case. You might also hear the expression, no thanks to, to show someone who impeded something. So to impede means to get in the way of, or maybe to make it difficult to do something else. So in an example sentence, I finally got a new job, no thanks to my old boss. So again, after no thanks to, we have a noun phrase, in this case, my old boss. So no thanks to shows no appreciation for something. However, there's still a, a result, there's still an outcome. I finally got a new job, but no thanks to my old boss. So I did it without the help of my old boss, or perhaps my old boss tried to make it difficult for me to do something, to get a new job. So you might hear no thanks to, which shows no appreciation for that person or that entity. So please be careful. If you want to show your appreciation, you should use thanks to, and of course, express a positive outcome here. So thanks to is better when you're talking about people and entities and there's a positive situation. You can use thanks to to express sarcasm, uh, to, to create sarcasm and express anger. If, however, you just want to be very clear all the time, you can use because of to express negative situations without creating sarcasm. So a simple negative situation, like my picnic was canceled because of rain, that's much, much better with because of. It sounds much more um, straightforward and there's no sarcasm in that case. So you can use because of for positive situations and negative situations, but if you want to express something um, related to a person or to an entity, try using thanks to instead. It'll sound a little more appreciative. Otherwise, you can stick to because of. All right, so those are a few key differences between the phrases because of and thanks to. I hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to our channel too so you don't miss anything. And also check us out at EnglishClass101.com for other good stuff as well. Thanks very much for watching this episode and I will see you again soon. Bye.